So the fire and the water coming out of the dragon's mouth happens at 9 o'clock on a Saturday and a Sunday. It's official. I love Danan. Nice step back in time, isn't it? Yeah. I think this is probably my new favourite coffee, a coconut coffee for like I'm like, I have to try. I don't like doing it. <laughs> Good morning from the very sunny and beautiful Da Nang in Vietnam. And I have to say, we've been here for a couple of days already and we absolutely love it. And we're at a beach now, which is called Mi K Beach. And this beach is so long. It's about 20 kilometers long. And look at this sand. So you can see here, the sand is lovely and powdery white. And it's an absolutely gorgeous beach. But there's a few people here, but surprisingly, considering how beautiful the beach is, it's actually not that busy, which is perfect for Jerry and I, because we love a beach which is not too busy. But we've got a few things planned today. We're going to get out, we've rented a motorbike for the day, and we're going to explore a few of the sites in Da Nang, and we're gonna take you with us. So we're gonna jump on the motorbike, head to our first spot after spending just a little bit of time on this beach, and we're gonna show you what you can expect from Da Nang. This is our first stop of the day. We've stopped at a place called Lady Buddha and this is the tallest Buddha statue in all of Vietnam. And it's located at Lin Ung Pagoda on the Sontra Peninsula. It's about a nine kilometer drive from Mi Khe Beach around here and it's hot. There's a lot of people here. There's actually a lot more people here than what there is in Mi Khe Beach, isn't there? I think this is because it's Sunday. Yeah, oh, of course, yeah, yeah, it's the weekend. Yeah, so as I said earlier, we've been here for a few days now and it has been quite quiet, but because it's the weekend and it's a really sunny day, it's definitely a lot livelier here at the weekend. Let's have a look around here. An interesting fact as well about the Lady Buddha, no matter where you are apparently within Da Nang, if you look up, you'll be able to see the Lady Buddha from every single point within the city. It's official. I love Da Nang. I read a lot about Da Nang before I came and I had a really good impression based on what I'd read and now that we're here the weather is just incredible it's actually a little bit too hot like some days it's about 36 degrees but the beautiful thing is we're so close to this huge beach which is beautiful so I definitely think we'll be spending more time in Da Nang in the future in November last year we visited Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh and if you want to check those videos out, the link for those videos is in the description. And they were both beautiful in their own right, but Da Nang's my favourite place in Vietnam so far. Xin chào. You still want bún cha? I do. And we're a little bit hungry now and we've come to this little restaurant we ate here a few days ago and we're going to have this which is called Boon Cha Hanoi. So we'll order this and Jerry's the food expert. Once this arrives he can tell you a little bit more about Boon Cha Hanoi. Okay, what do we have then? Uh, this is called um, Boon Cha Hanoi. Boon is a rice noodle you can find in every part of uh, Vietnam. But uh, this is the Hanoi style. You're gonna eat this with the uh, clear soup, with the grilled pork and the uh, meatball. Pick your noodle like this, and then um, dip into the soup like this, and um, that's all. Easy. Yeah, it's very tasty. Um, it's it's a little bit sour. Mm. Um, does it have? 
Lime. Ah, wait, wait, does it have lime in? Not yet, you no. have to put them. Ah, uh, uh, okay. And then we've got this plate of vegetables as well. Um, so we've got these greens here, and I think we've got, is it coriander? Do we yeah, have coriander? And I think we might have some mint. Is that right? Um, some mint, yes. Yes, yes mint. so coriander, mint, and, uh, and ba banana tree. Okay. Sprouts. This this meatball it actually looks like a little a little mini beef burger, mm. but it's actually pork. Yeah, it's pork. Oh, here's my yeah. So it's very sweet, very sour, with a little bit of a chili kick to it. But mm. like Jerry said before, you can add a little bit more chili, and I think I'm gonna add a little bit more chili to mine. Not spicy though. Just a little yeah. bit. Give me more, please. Yeah. now obviously which tastes makes it taste even better if you stay in Vietnam in the long term and you do eat uh, Vietnamese food every day you're not gonna you're not gonna get fat no because this is really healthy yeah you've got your vegetables a little bit of carbohydrate and then all of your greens so it's definitely a healthy option just stopped off for a coffee and we're very close to the river and this place I'm not sure if my pronunciation is correct Jerry might help me it's Kong Cafe how would you say that Gong Cafe Gong Cafe so this as you can see with this cafe it's got a communist theme um, but it's very very nice it's got a really wonderful atmosphere and we're sitting right next to the window with a lovely view of the river I'll show you I think this is probably my new favourite coffee, a coconut coffee. I've had two so far now while I've been in Vietnam and I love coconut and love coffee so the two blended together and a little bit of sugar is just absolutely delicious and I think I'll be drinking a lot more of these. What have you got Chevy? My um, is the brown coffee. I think overall the coffee in Vietnam is the best. Yeah, it is delicious. Everywhere, every cafe, you can get a nice coffee. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very great. Can I try yours? Mm. Mm. It's really nice. Mm. And the most cafe gonna have um, sun sunflower seed. <laughs> you can eat this with the coffee. Do you know what I find unusual though? Mm. It's very, very sweet. And usually, I don't really like sweet coffee, but here with this Vietnamese coffee, mm. being really sweet is actually really delicious. Yeah. We've just come out from the coffee shop and literally within about two minutes from there, we're outside this market which is called Han Market and just over the road here is the Han River. So we're gonna have a look in here, find out what is available, see if we can grab some drinks or some foods. So let's have a look. And the first thing that I've spotted as soon as I walk in here is an avocado ice cream. And we've tried one of these already and they're delicious. Can you see up there, avocado ice cream, 25. Do you want one? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay. Ah, oh, I want that durian. avocado and durian. Hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, um, one avocado ice cream and one avocado and durian. Thank you. 
Yeah, so another swan, um, this on the other side. Uh -huh. So one. one, how do I say that? Kemba. 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 One Kemba. One Kemba. One Kemba. Sa Sa ring. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, a durian. Oh, so, right, that, that one's for you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, this one's for me because I don't like durian. Is this coconut? Coconut, okay. This looks lovely. It looks really, really creamy. Honestly, this is delightful. Mm. I would never ever think that avocado as an ice cream would be tasty. I would think it would be bland. Mm. But because it's mixed with, it's got little coconut chips on the top. And then obviously it's sweet as well. And it's delightful. I don't like durian, but mm. yours has got durian in. How mm. is it? It's like normal durian. Can I smell it? Smell mm. it? Yes, yeah, I don't like the smell mm. of durian. But not too sweet. But I'm gonna have to try it because I look like a little bit of a wimp sometimes in our videos. I go, I don't like it. It's not my favorite thing. Seafood for me? Uh, I don't like it. <laughs> don't like I'm it. Like, I have to try. Mm. I don't like to. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's delicious, just with the um, with the avocado and the coconut. Now for you, because I know you like durian, I bet you think that's lovely. Mm. Right. Where are you from? You had durian. You had seafood. What else you had? Peas. <laughs> <laughs> Gember. Oh, gember. Gember. I'll have to try one first. How much is this? What price? Coffee. Short coffee. Salt coffee. How much? 200. Okay. Oh, for two. The two. I think, thank you. Of course, if you want to go for a nice walk as well after you've had some coffee or some ice cream, there's this walkway right next to the Han River and it's really peaceful. So relaxing and lovely. And just behind me, I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but just behind me over here is the Dragon Bridge. And on a Saturday and a Sunday night, apparently at nine o'clock, there's a fire and water show. So we're gonna head back there tonight and it's Sunday now. So hopefully tonight at nine o'clock, we'll get to see the Dragon Bridge breathing out fire. So we'll head there in a few hours time. We're just standing now at the Dragon Bridge and it's about 8.45 and it looks like there's a lot of people here already. So the fire and the water coming out of the dragon's mouth happens at 9 o'clock on a Saturday and a Sunday.
As you can see, on a Sunday night down next to the river, it is really, really lively. To be honest, I actually think this is the liveliest yeah. we've seen tonight in the last few days that yeah. we've been here. So we're gonna have a walk around here. Thanks for watching. We absolutely love Da Nang. In our, in our next video, we'll be heading to Banner Hills. So we'll see you in a few days time.